Good morning. It is 6.58 a.m. We're up just because the sun rose and we're gonna get going on our last day. We got 10 kilometers today. We can take it outside. Use a bit of sunlight. See a little wildlife. We can take it outside. The world is our playground. We can play around with a childlike wonder. And it's okay. Getting all packed up on our last day. Coffee started. Woke up to a low tide. Kind of cool now you can really see that uh, that rock there. Low tide's beautiful. 7K to Mystic and 2K back to our truck and that's all folks. Cheers. Obviously, I'm not sponsored by Nesquik, but they have this great it's the coffee that's loaded with sugar and is freaking amazing and corn. I'm a black coffee drinker, but this stuff really is good for the trail. Mr. Slug, man, that's my fuel. Ugh. Sorry, buddy. Oh, it's a huge one, too. Where did it come from? Where does he like that so much? Oh, man. Ugh. Get out of here, boy. It is 8.22 and we're packed up, leaving our campsite, leaving Bear Beach. Um, the campsite was awesome, the one we had, super sweet. We had a huge banger fire last night. We got to walk the beach here for about one kilometer, seven kilometers to Mystic Beach, two kilometers back to our home on wheels. And, and then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you a couple of the campsites along the way here too. There's, Lots of great spots to camp along there. There's three different campsite sections, all with outhouses and, and food caches. So pretty sweet. Shouldn't be too much of a a brood of, a brood of a day. Should be actually probably one of the easier ones. Got a little swing set in the middle campsite here. Tides low. And there we go around. Yeah, middle one looks pretty nice too. Super lovely stretch of beach. I think we're rounding the corner on campsite numero trois. Sorry to anyone who speaks French, that was probably pretty bad. Campsite three, a couple people there having their morning coffee. Every campsite in Bear Beach has got a river, which is pretty nice. If the tide came up here, you'd surely be in uh, in a whole world of trouble. Big wall there. Yeah, There's some stairs. We are approaching the washout. That's going to be fun. Saw lots of campers today, but they're all camping going the other direction. Makes sense because it's a Thursday. So we've got some tape that says danger. So. You know, obviously we have to go under it. I believe this is the washout everyone's been talking about. But it looks like the parks guys were pretty fast in building a, a little protective wall here. Um, and there's a rope here, so we'll see if it gets worse just around the corner. I feel like we've done worse. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. That was chill. It might have been scarier when the ropes weren't there, but... Yeah, the rope and the... Or not the rope, yeah. But that's that's chill. So here, if you can see, is the actual washout. I'll show you a video of it after. But I, as usual, I spoke too soon, eh? Um, it's pretty steep on that muck there. You come through these bushes here, and there's a rope tucked in the bushes, and that's the way up. I'm so glad I found that. I'll take a video from the top once I help Laura. Here's the actual washout. Laura's coming up it. I'll take the other phone out to see if it captures it a bit better. But uh, she's coming up through the bushes. You just gotta be careful. It's a little bit steep through there. Definitely wouldn't be getting up or down that rock there. That would be a total disaster. You'd be getting down, but not up, that's for sure. There comes Laura. It's, uh, it's pretty steep. Um, the brambles and bushes are the most annoying part of getting through it. 
But yeah, that mudslide totally took out this entire section of trail. But it's definitely doable. It's nice they tied up uh, tied up a rope to help the, the hikers who are, who are trying to get through. Another bridge, another log tree bridge. We are at the five kilometer mark, so three kilometers to Mystic, and uh, and two more to the to the truck. It's been super easy today, so like smooth sailing, as smooth as it can get. Uh, we're we're motoring, we're motoring along, absolutely tearing up the trail. It's not muddy. This is hands down the easiest section. So for us, it kind of went in difficulty um, from most challenging to least challenging basically backwards so doing the trail in the order we did it was fantastic um since it was you know hardest to kind of easiest for us three nights was perfect we had sunshine it was nice to have a fire every night could you do it in two nights yeah could you do it in one night totally but like three nights you're not going to be like totally dogged and you get to enjoy it collect firewood have a nice fire have some decent meals go for swims and stuff so that's definitely the timeline that uh, that I'd recommend if you're planning on on doing this trail. Um, the direction as well, I totally would advocate for this direction. Just perfect. Fist is served. Mm. Water's a nice blue. This one. There goes Laura with her bear bell. Jingle bells, jingle bells. The water is glass today and it's a beautiful turquoise color. Wow, that's the calmest we've seen it this whole trip. Usually there's a strong headwind, but uh, no wind today. Just chilling. Getting near Mystic. Laura's crossing over Pat Phillip Creek here. Another one of the many bridges. A couple of fallen trees in this section, but still so mellow on this side, on this stretch. Almost there, almost time for eggs and apples. Here we are at, uh, at Mystic Beach. God, it's hard to film sometimes and walk. <laughs> okay, there is Mystic Beach, right here. Mystic Beach, Juan de Fuca Trail. Sweet, so it's, yeah, it's 11. 11 a.m. We're just arriving on the short lines of Mystic Beach. Mystic Beach is pretty beautiful. Um, I wouldn't say any any more beautiful than some of the other beaches we've been to. I think Chin, uh, they're all amazing. Like they all are special in their own way. Um, maybe they, I don't know why they call it Mystic. Maybe because it's only a two kilometer hike out. A lot of people come down here and do like mushrooms and acid or something and have a mystical experience. Maybe that's it. I'm not too sure. Pardon? Oh, Misty, that's way more reason reasonable. Misty, Mystic, that would probably look pretty cool, but two kilometers from here, so we're pretty much at the end line. There goes Laura down the shoreline of Mystic Beach. A couple people down there, oh, she's stopping waiting for me. Lots of people, a set of campers down at Mystic. Kids playing in the sand. Probably gets really nice and sandy and low tide. Cool. So juvenile elephant seal preparing to molt. So do not touch, cause it'll bite. Well, I don't know if we've seen one, but uh, we wouldn't be touching a seal anyways. So last two kilometers it says, good, be good, do good, eat good. Be good, do good, eat good. Okay, right on. Okay, so this morning we started out at Bear Beach, but we were camping right there. And we walked all the way down. We're now at Mystic Beach. Looks like we get one more suspension bridge. Laura's favorite. And then, uh, and then we'll be at China Beach, where the, where the truck is. Maybe here is where it is. Yeah, trailhead. The last part from Mystic here is, uh, is pretty much all stairs. Feeling great though. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, could uh, could do it all over again. Probably not, but feels great.
there's probably my least favorite part of hiking around through the gross grind. Yuck. Yeah. The Pete Wolf Creek Suspension Bridge. I'm trying to dodge that mud. There we go. This is a lot lower and a lot less sketchy than, uh, oh, it's still really bouncy. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. Nice and bouncy, but not as high as uh, that one, that one we did in the middle. That one was like 200 freaking feet up, so that was pretty good. Are you scared on that one, Laura? Yeah, it wasn't so bad, right? Final kilometer, one left. How you feeling? Good. There's the track poking out. Ah, always tripping. There it is. There she is. We did it. We did it. <laughs> yeah. Made it back. Booyah. So we come back and we see two trucks. Here's mine with the little cowboy hat. And then over here, here's like the exact version that I would like to have. The guy's got a roof rack on his little sleeper in the back for surfboards and he's got roof rack to hold firewood and, uh, and other stuff. Oh my God. How many times did I put that in your bag? Under the seat. No way. There's a washcloth and a scrubber that we're like, oh, we need to take it, we need to take it. I put it there like a hundred times. <laughs> Uh, so here we are, we're at the end, China Beach. So we went from Botanical Bay here, and we walked, da 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 This was the worst part, hardest part for us, through Parkinson, through Coochie, probably because it was the longest, to Sombrio. Um, the, uh, it was because of like, the trail. It says it's rated moderate, but it was so muddy, and the footing was so whack. It took us like a solid, you know, eight and a half hours uh, with a heavy, heavy pack with all our food, so fresh food so that was a little more tiring from sombrio to chin wasn't too bad chin was an amazing campsite chin to bear not too bad even though it says most difficult just a lot of elevation that was great and then we finished off to here super quick today i think it's still before noon it's like 11 30 or something so it only took us a couple hours um pumped to be back at the vehicle and, and getting back on the road and uh yeah we'll see maybe go for a swim at some lake today um goodbye Goodbye, dream setup. Just breathe, breathe, breathe.